Hey everybody, how is it going? I hope you all are having a great day and today I am super excited because today we're going to be taking a look at the first base from Recess. So I ended up picking this yo-yo up at Great Ducks Games and Toys, um, one of the best hobby shops, game shops um, I have ever been to. Um, super helpful, knowledgeable staff members, super friendly. Um, they let you try the products to see if you like them. Um, and they just have a whole bunch of great high, high end products. And I ended up picking up the first base. Um, I've had my eye on this yo-yo for a very long time and I am very excited um, to try it out. I tried it out there and I really, really, really liked it. Um, and we will get into more um, of everything I like about this yo-yo later on in the video. But real quick, let's go over the packaging. So on the front here, you're going to have first base from recess. You're going to have like the baseball stitching. Um, going up the box and then kind of on the top here, first base recess logo there. Um, on the side, nothing much, just displays the yo-yo very, very nicely. Um, this is like a very cool black, white, and blue colorway, which looks really, really nice. They have a lot of cool colorways. Um, they have like cool like fruit series, series um, as well. So they have like a lot of cool colors for this yo-yo, which is very nice. Um, upgrade bearing, extra string, so it comes responsive, but it comes with an unresponsive bearing. And it does come with an extra string, which is very nice for newer players. You know, you get a very nice responsive yo-yo with an extra string, and then when you're ready, you can upgrade it, um, which is very nice. And on the back here, you're going to have the recess logo once again. And then you're going to have um, some sayings down here. So, uh, can you make it to first base? Then if... Um, kind of like if it's your first yo-yo, you know, visit their website um, to see how to get started, um, which is very cool, like self-promotion, um, which is very, very cool, very helpful um, for new players because they know where to go. And then, um, like baseball, yo-yos are a great American pastime that builds social skills and great physical talents for people of all ages. So kind of a really cool, like, um, comparison between, you know, baseball and yo-yos um, and just kind of a kind of motivational piece down there. Um, anyway, that's enough with the box. Let's get right um, into how this yo-yo looks. And look at that. So like I, I, I did mention, I believe, um, I did try this yo-yo out there and this yo-yo is awesome. Look at this. The colorway is just beautiful. Um, you have first base down here. I don't know if you, you can kind of see it there, first base with the logo, um, first base on the other side as well. Um, very nice, very nice size, very nice shape, kind of like a, a nice rounded shape to it, so it's very comfortable. It's not, it's not, it's just a pretty, pretty average size. It's not crazy big, it's not small. Um, it just has a very nice, comfortable feel to it, and it looks absolutely amazing. Um, it does come with a string. There is the responsive bearing in there right now, so the slim bearing. And the string is actually really cool. I think it's like a white-blue um, twisted string, which is really cool. Um, which is kind of a really fun, fun-looking string. And that comes with this foam insert. Um, it comes with an extra blue string, which is very cool. And the extra bearing or the um, unresponsive bearing the larger bearing um, is right here and this is actually a really really nice yo-yo so um, you know so far you know just off of the packaging this yo-yo is absolutely amazing um, and let's go try it out we'll try it out responsive and then we'll put in the unresponsive bearing and try it out and uh, let's get right to it Alrighty everybody, so we got the first base all strung up and ready to go, equipped with the responsive bearing, and let's give it a throw real quick. And as you can see, it looks really, really nice when it's spinning. It kind of gets like this light purple look to it, which looks really, really cool. Um, you know, very overall pretty smooth. There might be a little vibration to it, but definitely nothing much, nothing that's going to really affect play because it is kind of like a larger yo-yo. Um, so nothing that should affect play too much. And the one thing I really like about the first base, especially if you're a newer player, 
is it's really nice and responsive. I mean, you just give it a little tug, and it comes shooting up to your hand. So, it's, you know, some, some responsive yo-yos kind of, like, um, are too responsive, where, like, you throw it down, and then it just gets a little slack, and it, it comes up to your hand right away, and sometimes it's more of an unresponsive, responsive yo-yo, and it might not come up to your hand right away. Um, but this yo-yo is just really nice. Little little tug, it comes right back up to your hand, which is really nice for new players. Um, and the other thing I really like about this yo-yo being responsive is it's not super responsive, so you still can do all your tricks on it, and it still comes right up to your hand really, really easily. So, you know, it, it's kind of like that perfect, um, not super, super responsive, where you still can, um, where you can't do tricks on it because it just comes right back to your hand. But it's not like more unresponsive, where when you're done with your trick, you try to get it up to your hand and it doesn't return. So it's just a perfect um, responsive level, if that makes sense. Um, and I really like playing with this thing. Um, responsive, it just has a really nice feel to it. Um, but I think we'll probably go put it um, in the unresponsive bearing and see how that plays. Alrighty guys, so real quick I just want to show you the inside of the recess first base. As you can see, it has a very nice response pad, um, very nice axle. Um, on the other side we put in the unresponsive bearing and has a response pad as well. So it looks very, very nice. Um, very well constructed um, and anyway we finally got this slim bearing out um, it was stuck in there pretty good but we finally got it out we got the unresponsive bearing in and let's go give it a try alrighty everybody so we switched out the bearing and let's give this a try so yep it's it's amazing um, right off the bat I kind of noticed that it's a little bit smoother than the responsive, having the responsive bearing in there. Um, but there still might be a little vibration, but definitely nothing you're going to detect. Um, and um, right off the bat, it does have a very light feel to it, which I really, really like. Um, it just has a light, fun feel to it. Um, I think it only weighs 64.5 grams, if I remember correctly. Um, and this yo-yo is amazing, super fun, um, spins for a very long time, um, has, um, you know, has a nice kind of lighter feel to it, seems very stable, um, you know, it seems very, very stable, and just overall a very fun yo-yo, um, grinding um it does kind of have a glossy surface to it um so grinds aren't going to be the best um but that is easily overlooked by how good it is in other areas um you might be able to thumb grind on it yeah so it, it can do some grinds um but you know it's not the best grinding yo-yo but once again it you can accomplish them um, and, you know, it just, um, you know, really takes the cake in other areas as well. So, you know, grinding isn't really going to be a big issue. Um, but you can definitely do, like, your thumb grind on it. And I really, really like this yo-yo. Um, this is definitely probably, oh, one of my favorite yo-yos. Definitely probably one of my favorite plastic yo-yos. Um, and... Probably one of my most recommended yo-yos, um, and we will get to that right now. Alrighty guys, so as I mentioned that the first base is one of my most recommended yo-yos, one of my all-time favorite yo-yos, um, and definitely one of my all-time favorite plastic yo-yos, and let me kind of explain why. Um, I think it's a great yo-yo because it just has a lot of fun um, characteristics to it you know it has kind of a fun feel to it it's affordable um, it it comes responsive which is great for newer players and you know 
it's not super responsive where it's gonna hinder you um, when you're doing your tricks, but at the same time, um, it has a nice level of response where when you complete a trick, um, you just give it a slight little tug and it returns to your hand. The unresponsive bearing is amazing as well. Nice and unresponsive, spins for a very, very long time. Overall, I just think this yo-yo is a great yo-yo. It comes in a lot of really, really cool colorways. Um, so I think it's great for, you know, beginner players. I think it's great for um, advanced players. I think this yo-yo is great for any player. It's just really fun to play with. I really, really like this yo-yo. Um, and I hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.